Hi, this is Mike Henriksen from OSCON 2015 in Portland, Oregon. I'm here with Ryan Blue. Ryan, how you doing? I'm doing great. So you're a software engineer at Cloudera. Yes. So what are you up to? Um, I actually work on data formats, so Apache Avro and Apache Parquet these days. And what, what should we know about both of those? Well, those are actually uh, core data formats for Hadoop. Um, because of the way data is stored and processed in Hadoop, we actually had to redesign a lot of the data formats that we work with. Um, so they're uh, purpose-built to work well in Hadoop and um, to do some pretty awesome things, especially Parquet these days, which is the, the newcomer. The newcomer in, in... In data formats, which I, I know is very exciting. Um, so Parquet is a, a columnar format. Um, it's column-oriented so that you can ignore a lot of the data for columns that you don't need. Um, this is something that has been around in, uh, you know, large commercial databases for quite some time, but I think Parquet is one of the first um, open source implementations that can be used in just any application, uh, so anytime you want to ignore a lot of your data. Give me an example of what I would want to ignore in, in my data, like why why Parquet will be oh. particularly suited for what? Uh, it's it's uh, well suited for data where you have lots of columns in a table, yep. but you only need two or three of those at a time. Um, so in a traditional like record-oriented format, you have to read all of that data off of disk. Um, but in a column-oriented format, you can actually uh, pinpoint just the columns that you need and read those. So if you're uh, working with a storage like uh, S3, and you're paying to ship all of that hey, data across the network in order to get it to your processing system. You can save a lot of um, a lot of network uh, storage because storage you, you don't that need way. it all, right? Yeah, it's great. Right. That is actually what um, Netflix is doing these days with it. Uh, they're they're pretty big contributors. And so, how are you rolling Parquet into the Cloudera suite? Um, so I, you know, package it and manage it as part of CDH, which is our distribution that includes Apache Hadoop and all of the ecosystem projects that people need. So um, I'm responsible for, you know, pulling it down, making sure it, it builds with the other components, and the components that are based on it uh, don't have any problems. You know, we we pull down a stable version, bring in any um, anything newer than that that our customers or um, the community needs, like bug fixes and so on, um, to make it a, a good product in, in CDH. So you guys have been involved with open source quite a while now. Oh yeah, since since our company started. So how what 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 do you think the number of uh, developers at Cloudera are contributing to open source projects? Is it almost 100% or 80 um, or 90? Or? I, I would be surprised if we had developers that had not contributed to open source projects, to be honest, because um, we do our development that way internally, right? Um, if you need to fix something on a different project. Um, you go fix that project. So even our, our internal tools team that supports our, our support organization, um, I review patches for them getting uh, their changes into the upstream projects as well. So a lot of our developers, and I would say almost every engineer has contributed to open source. So someone mentioned, and I've, I've heard it a few times this week, that by, by knowing that you're going to be open sourcing your software or that it is open source, it makes you develop the software better because you know it's going to be read by more people or scrutinized by more people or looked at by more people. Is Absolutely. that what you see with you guys? Well, and I don't think it's just fear of scrutiny. It's that, um, you know, you do things that, it's kind of the golden rule. You do things that you would appreciate other people doing when you know that, um, you know, you're coming to this project and, uh, if you don't have sufficient documentation or you know code quality or things like that, um, it's very difficult to contribute and, and actually use it. So I think that that sets the standard for how you interact with that project. So you believe that by being open source or having open source in a company and using open source, it sets a higher bar and a higher standard. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, we definitely see that. We also see that because uh, open source is, well, at least Apache projects, which I'm most familiar with, uh, is built around, you know, maintaining this community of people that are able to work with the software. It's not just about the software, it's also about the community. And, um, you know, that's a, a prerequisite for it. So almost all Apache projects, certainly all the ones I'm involved with, are review then commit, which always has a, a much better outcome in terms of software quality. Excellent. So data is the new tofu? Yes, data is the new tofu. It's uh, in reference to our other shirt. So it's one of those terrible referencing things. Um, so our other shirt is data is the new bacon. 
And for those of us employees that are uh, vegetarians, Vegetarian. we've made the data as the no to new tofu shirt. Okay. Although I'm not sure I have the same love of tofu that uh, our other employees have of bacon. So if, if you look forward in, let's say, the next 6 to 12 months, what's going to keep you awake at night with your job? What, what are you going to be really <laughs> thinking about that's going to be different and, and good to work on or, or something that is going to be exciting, enough to excite you and, and keep you thinking? Well, um, excitement and keeping me awake at night out of fear are, are two vastly yes. different things. Exactly. Um, so with data formats, uh, what I fear is problems, right? Uh, corruption issues and, and those sorts of things. We have to be very, very diligent to make sure that um, the open source software that we're producing is up to quality standards that, um, you know, we'll never lose customer data and, and things like that. We have to be very careful. Um, what I'm excited about, though, is um, having things like Parquet out there. I actually submitted a talk to ApacheCon in Europe about Parquet. You know, it, it's this uh, open source you know, generally available um, data format for columnar storage, which, you know, we really have not had in the past. So, uh, you know, the open source world is really approaching some of the things that were only investments in uh, very large database companies before. Excellent. So we're, we're working together, Cloudera and O'Reilly, on mm -hmm. Strata Hadoop World in Singapore, coming oh, up yeah. in Asia. How important is the Asian market for you guys right now? And is are there some barriers because maybe open isn't... Um, necessarily ingrained in open source, ingrained in the way people do business yet? Do um, you see any differences? I personally have not. Um, I'm, I'm not all that familiar with our marketing side. I do know that the Asian markets are, are you know, extremely important to us. There are a, a lot of big companies um, doing some great work out there and, and they want to be you know, leveraging uh, for lack of a better term, big data just like everyone else, um, and we really want to be there to support them. Um, in terms of uh, the adoption rates of open source and things like that, um, I don't know. We, we certainly have um, colleagues with Intel in China um, that are fantastic partners and are doing some fan, you know, great work in terms of uh, um, performance and, and reliability stuff. Excellent. Well, we look forward to working with you guys in the future. Great. Thank you. Thank you for talking with me.